when you are helping other people to assist them to build their family to keep their own front don't forget your own front your own front is this life here now now these children that you are bringing into this world here today right now they are growing right now under your roof they need your love they need your support they need kindness they need a place of refuge <music>
a complete human being. And so most of the time, this is the fundamental of the problem. You go and bring somebody and you want to fit that person into your own plan without thinking about the plans of the person herself himself so you cannot expect somebody to put their life on hold just to fulfill your plan it is something that you have to put into consideration that we are bringing somebody here even though you are bringing the person here you know allow the person to drink water and keep calm i i said this thing in, in my last video where i was talking about uh, wicked is working it's something like this because when you have that power over somebody the power that you brought the person here you know they are stay here depends on you you take it out on the people you take it out on the woman and again the woman is the mother of your children so you are thinking about how to assuage your family at home or you know uh, put up some front accomplish some things at home and uh, you know you are building this family here you are having these children here and our people i think always forget that this one that they have here is their family is your immediate family so you know your brother may call you or your sister may call you about problems she's having in her family and needs your support and uh, you know a relative a friend will tell you they have problem with my child you know you you know you are trying to put up front you you are trying to help them you're trying to do so many things accomplish so many things for them and the woman also you know her family is going to say oh our sister is also abroad you know what comes with being in the abroad and they say oh please help us like this and she wants to help her own family she want to help her own friends so you see two people who are you know building this family together and they have their own children maybe they have two children there this is their own immediate nuclear family but somehow the family that they have come from their own families you know kind of tears this family that they are building apart and they don't even realize it until it's too late they don't realize it until maybe the man don't kill the woman they don't go put her for jail you know they don't even realize something is happening until it's too late until the man has you know laid his hands on the woman and something tragic has happened and he's ended up in jail and the woman is laid to rest and then the children are taken into foster home so what is it you know what for what purpose have you fought now for what purpose have you strived all your life in the end what is the use of all the strife everything you have worked for everything you are trying to accomplish with your life you throw it away when you lose it in building your immediate family here keep in mind that when you are 60 when you are 50 something you are not going to start another family even if you want to start it's going to be the eternal struggle and when you are 60 you are alone because you're not there with the children and the children would have grown up without you and then you know you will be an, a bitter old man and then you start complaining that the women and women are turning away uh, this is it this is it and even the women too the women may be too you know anxious to hold their own place because there's fundamentally no trust the women are thinking if i stay with her now and uh, maybe tomorrow now you go go marry for our side you go go born children so whatever you are building with him there's no guarantee that it's going to be between you and the children you see at the end of the day everything just end everything just scatter there is no stability for the children and the saddest part is that these children they are growing here with you you are their own parents this is their own childhood Consider it, please, when you are fighting. You're fighting in front of your children. They are small. This is the only home they know. You know, like here, you don't have auntie or grandma that you have to go to. It's only you and that woman and those children in that your house. This is the only family you have. And when something is going on, it's intense. It's like, you know, it goes really right through because there's nowhere to go out of it to relax. And this money is meant for you to live where? 
But still, because of all these plans to do something in Nigeria, to do something somewhere else, to have my own here, to have my own there, you neglect this immediate one. The children don't even have anything from it. You know, they barely have a good accommodation. You just cram them all. Maybe they will have six children. They will be living in three room apartment. You know, they will just be living, um, cramped up, no space for the children, no space for them to even withdraw and self reflect and, you know, have some time for themselves. And then this acrimony every time because of money, because of God. And then at the end of the day, the children that are supposed to benefit have nothing to gain from your union other than all this strife so i just want us to think about what we are doing how we are treating our children how we are treating our spouses you know to what end you need to be thinking about the end of what we are doing if you are you know, having all this strife with your man, with your woman, think about your children, the children that you are bringing into the soul. Like here, people like to say, oh, single mom, single mom. They like to be single mom. Every one of them, they know they stay husband. But where is the husband house now? If you will not allow the woman to rest. Somebody that just giving birth just a month you are beating her taking belt even while you are taking video you still have the audacity to be taking belt while you are videoing yourself and upload the same video on the internet like so people have completely lost it and there's a lot of stories going around this man that he already has uh, you know so many children with different women and you know plus this one he went to bring from nigeria so at the end of the day, he cannot really work because if he should work, all the money will go before, you know, nothing comes back to him because they have to pay child support to all the mothers that has children for him. So most likely it's possible that he's not going to be doing any meaningful work. He will just be doing something on that, you see. So what am I saying in all this? When you are helping other people to assist them, to build their family, to keep their own front. Don't forget your own front. Your own front is this life here, now, now. These children that you are bringing into this world here, today, right now, they are growing right now under your roof. They need your love. They need your support. They need kindness. They need a tranquil family they need a place of refuge the children are living in a different environment they are facing a lot of struggles in the school you know on the playground you know they are under permanent stress and then they come home they have no refuge think about it this money is for you to support the children and if you use this money for the children it's not even going to be enough like you don't have to let the children be in that room or in the house all the time you can look at them is there any skill that they are good in you can go and put them there let, let them learn how to play an instrument are they doing well in school or not if, if they are not good in jama you can pay for german lessons so that the children will go and improve their german you can and pay for mathematics you know because maybe you cannot help the children and here the help of the parents is really needed for them to progress in school you cannot do this you need to pay somebody and this cost minimum of 100 euro in a month so if you are really using this money for the children you won't even be fighting for it and now they give you all this money to establish your children your own children these are the children that are going to uh, be called upon to say the children of mr a and b and they will come and you are neglecting them for what purpose because you want to prove something at home you want to prove something in kafanchan you know there's something that they say in yoruba that waiting day for sokoto he day inside your shokoto like something that is far away actually is right there with before you you know and recently we have another news that that somebody has already taken down the mother of his children you know because of the same child support so um it's always coming up it's always coming up please my people let us remember this life now this family now take care of your home front take care of the children that are growing under you right now please my people take care of the children that you have here now
Give them the life that they will remember of. Give them the childhood that they will reminisce on and be happy about. This is what matters now. This is their own childhood. They are not going to have any other childhood. Give them that comfort now. This is the only comfort they will have with you. You know, if you do all this thing now and at the end of the day, you injure the woman, they put you in jail, they take the children and they put them in foster care, they take the, the woman, it's no longer there. What did you gain? Nothing. You know, you just kind of causing the cycle of suffering to be continuing, you know, like no end to it. Eh? Let us think now, my people. So I just want to make this video because I don't even know what else to say. Um, because I'm thinking that most of the time people are not having a real agreement upon which they want to base their relationship. So have this agreement before anything money is a big issue how do you want to do it is the woman having her own money is the man having her own money what about this family you can put that money for this family that you have together so that you know how much everybody is contributing for this money and you can still have your own on the side have your own on the other side but make sure you don't neglect this family here right now because these are the only children you have right now and you need them and they need you please let us think about our children let's stop thinking only about ourselves and now forget about all those people you want to impress at home you don't matter it doesn't matter tomorrow actually man if they find you they don't see you tomorrow everybody will live on nothing stops life goes on so please my people take heed because if you don't take heed everybody loses you lose you go to jail the woman is no more the children are in foster care everybody loses there's nothing to gain from it. Please. So thank you so much. If you have something to add, don't hesitate to write it in the comment section. Join the conversation. And if I miss anything, I'll continue it in another video. But for now, I want to say thank you so much. Subscribe. Subscribe. Bye. Bye for now.